Hello, this is Sue Ann Brightson, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you something that probably several people at service desks or groups of people that are working might have questions about, and that is how to create a quick tip ticket or use a template for a ticket. Of course, we can always set up a one step to do this, but if you had several users, say all of your service desk staff, that they had the same type of ticket coming in all day every day and you wanted to give them something that everybody could use and it's it's merely a button that they can click that'll make it quicker for them then we can do that with a one step and then adding items to a menu so we'll start out by going to our one steps and within our one step manager we're going to actually set our association to none. I've already created a one step here, but I'll open it up and show you what I did. So this particular one step, create a new desktop printer incident. I, I use the create a new business object, and that will be the business object of incident. I want to open that new record after action so that it's open and I can fill in the rest of the information that's needed, such as the customer name. So for the fields that we chose, we are doing the call source, the category, description, I have an impact uh, priority service which goes with the category and the subcategory, and then I added the urgency as well. So now that we have our one step created, we can totally go in and run this for this particular ticket. And I'm not going to save changes because I do have some fields that are required that aren't filled out. And we can leave it at that. Or if we wanted to make it a little bit easier and actually share that with everyone and have buttons for them to be able to quickly get to and use, we can go into our admin client. A couple of places here in the admin client that we can make changes are on the task panes and menu search. So within here I will just go to our default and edit that and in our common tasks if I configure that I can add another item here and we will select our one steps Make sure our association is in none because that's where we created our one step. Select that one step that we created and of course we can move this up or down wherever we want in this list and select OK. And then I'm actually going to add it to two more places that when you have the incident object as the main object that you're looking at you'll be able to actually use two different menus. So we're going to go into a blueprint that I already have open. If you don't have a blueprint open, make sure to create a new blueprint. And within this blueprint, I'm going to my incident object. And under edit actions, we have a menu. You can see that menu here already has quick templates. And I'm just going to add an action under my quick templates and that'll be a one step. Again, we need to go to our none association and select our one step that we created. I can either leave the action name as is and that's what will show on the menu bar or I can add additional text. For now, I'll just leave it how, how it is, uh, create new desktop printer incident. And I'll select OK. Actually, I'll go back into my actions because the other place I want to add this is to my task pane. And as you can see here, I do have quick templates as a folder on my task pane already. I'm going to add another action. One step, none association, and choose my one step. And I'll just leave this as is. So once we do that and we publish our blueprint, We will go ahead and close this since it's been published. 
go back into our desktop client. Normally what we would do is reload definitions. I'm not going to save that, but we started on. And we would be able to see all of those new links buttons uh, to that quick ticket, quick tick template. Um, which you can see if we go into our incidents. Now under our incident actions, we do have the link for create new desktop printer. And that just runs our one step again with a lot of information filled out and we just need to add customer and then fill out the rest of this. Uh, the other place that we can get to that link if we are just in our incident screen is incident actions up at top, quick templates, again create a new desktop printer incident. Now something that might be helpful, especially for the technicians that are on the service desk, if they have a lot of calls coming in, is being able to have that here in the common tasks, which you can see we have the new incident, and I did add that, that new one step for creating the printer incident, but what needs to be done is we need to log out of the system and log back in in order for that to show up. So now we have our create new desktop printer incident in our common tasks. And when we select that, it gives us the incident with most items filled up. That's just a quick way to allow people to create new incidents or you could do a lot of different things with those uh, types of templates or links to one steps and it's just a time saver for folks. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to watch additional videos for more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Beyond 20 LLC.